popcorn movies. Urban Dictionary defines them as an infamously subjective term that refers to certain movies that don't carry much intellectual depth but packed with action, excitement, and enough appeal to a massive audience. Today, I'm going to give you a list of mine and some crowdsourced popcorn movie favorites and how you can watch them and how and where you can watch them for free or free-ish if you already subscribe to a particular service. Anyway, I'm gonna make that real simple with an app suggestion which makes all of this as mindless as a good popcorn flick. Let's get into it. Hey, I'm a little under the weather, so that's why I sound a little different today, but that doesn't matter. If you're still feeling this, and if any of the videos from my other peers, my other pals here on the channel have helped you, please consider clicking all those clicky things around here, bells and subscriptions and all that, so you'll be notified when we upload the latest content and when we run contests. Many people feel like we're having some tough times, so how do you practice self-care when it comes to needing some mental relief from the stresses of life? You might throw on a movie you love that you know by heart, line for line. Something you don't have to get invested in emotionally or mentally, but that brings you joy and allows you to escape and zone out for a couple hours. Well, I have my own list of movies, but I also wanted to make sure I'm inclusive of all of you out there. So on my social media channels, I crowdsourced a list of your favorite movies as well. Now, before we get into that, I wanna show you how to make a neat watch list of your favorite popcorn flicks. Why am I doing this? Well, if you don't buy the digital versions or the DVDs or the Blu-rays, they can come and go from various streaming platforms. So what I have for you is a wonderful app called Just Watch. Just Watch is a neat app which allows you to track movies and TV shows you watch, as well as search up movies or TV shows you're interested in watching and see at a glance all of the channels you can stream that content on and the platforms you can rent those movies from. Once you download and install Just Watch on your mobile device of choice, iOS or Android, go ahead and search up a movie. Then when it comes up, simply tap and hold, then choose watch list from the quick menu, or you can tap on the entry to see the full movie details and choose the watch list option on that screen. Now, anytime you want to watch, you can just go to your watch list and see which service you are already subscribing to is running that movie. If you're like me, and there are a few movies you watch over and over and don't want to risk them not being able to stream, you can just purchase the digital format on your favorite streaming service like I did with Blade. Okay, so now that you have a way to keep up with your popcorn movie list, let's get to some of my personal favorite and crowdsourced favorite popcorn movies. I'm a martial arts and action movie fan, so the top of my list is occupied by the movie that showed you can make superhero movies, which are rated R, which also will make money, Blade. It did so well in theaters, even for a rated R movie, that they greenlit a sequel and gave Snipes and crew more money to do it. If you're a fan of vampires, great one-liners, and authentic martial arts action, this is a great one with an artsy edge to it. Number two on my list is The Princess Bride, of course. It has action, adventure, a love story, and is brilliantly written and acted with an all-star cast, which includes Carrie Elways, Mandy Patinkin, and the late Andre the Giant. If you wanna throw on a feel-good, fun flick that's great for everyone in the room, this is it. My third in the list is going to be The Adventures of Buckaroo Banzai Across the Eighth Dimension. This movie's cast is even grander than Princess Bride. Peter Weller, John Lithgow, Ellen Barkin, Jeff Goldblum, and Christopher Lloyd, just to name a few of the top actors and actresses in this. And with character names like Perfect Tommy and John Big Boote, what's not to love? It's about a genius scientist adventurer rock star who crosses into the eighth dimension or goes across the eighth dimension and finds himself and the rest of Earth in the midst of an alien feud with Rastafarian aliens on one side, which could end the world. But what about some of your favorites? Those are my top three, but let's, I really want to spend more time with yours. Let's talk about those flicks. Let's go through them. My friend and awesome entertainment reporter, Amanda Salas, said one of her faves is Clueless. And I'd have to agree. I think it was our generation Zoolander to a degree, and it is absolutely fun to watch. Next up, Twister. 
Helen Hunt stars and Bill Paxton co-stars in this natural disaster flick and in my mind, after his turn in Aliens, he officially became a national treasure. Game over, man! For a little animated fun, here's a movie I haven't actually watched but one of my Facebook pals recommended, Rock-A-Doodle. Natica, it's on my list now. Thanks. And while we're on animated popcorn flicks, how about Mulan? Girl power, great songs, and that Disney formula make this a great one to watch over and over with the entire family. And while we're working with martial arts action, one of the Shaw Brothers' greatest hits, the 36th Chamber of Shaolin, aka Master Killer, made the crowdsource list. While watching the film's opening credit sequence, you may notice a familiar sound or sounds if you're a Wu-Tang fan. The supergroup's producer, The RZA, sampled some of these sounds on their seminal album, Into the Wu-Tang, 36 Chambers. And while we're on old school classics, the 1962 version of King Kong vs. Godzilla, with that infamous tree as a bat scene, is one you may like when you're vegging out in front of the flat screen, but you'll need YouTube on your smart TV, as that's where you'll be able to watch for free on an Indian distribution channel that's on YouTube. And let's end this with a movie which made me laugh out loud a lot. 40 Year Old Virgin. This film stars Steve Carell and Katherine Keener, but has a hilarious supporting cast of comedians who will leave you rolling on the floor laughing your ass off, literally. So, what are your favorite popcorn flicks? Let us know in the comments below and we'll check them out. As always, I'm Tashaka Armstrong for Reviews.org. Can't wait to see what your list of popcorn flicks is down there in the comments. I will catch you on the next video.